What's up, everyone? Gordon Chu here. So today we are doing a very controversial video. It's to help sellers who are facing a difficulty getting their property sold through an agent. So some sellers, they hire an agent, they expect that the agent would actually be able to sell their house in just a couple of weeks, sometimes even days. But instead, the agent is taking months and like one of my clients, they actually two years, the property still isn't sold. Now, if you really want to know what's going on behind the scenes, I'm going to review everything today. So watch to the end and let's dive straight to the topic. The truth behind your unsold house, agent excuses exposed. Now, why am I going to review the secrets today is how to immediately tell if your agent is taking you for a ride. First and foremost, a little bit of disclaimer here. I'm not trying to make every agent look bad and say that I'm the best, you should hire me only. No, that's not the purpose of this video. I'm trying to share what are the best practices that has worked for me and my friends over the last number of years and how we can deliver the best results for my clients. So if you look at this video and maybe hopefully you can see some takeaway and implement that in your own marketing and get better results then good for you and good for the client as well so let's go again into the next one now what is the most effective advertising as i think this is undisputable as of now Property Guru is still number one in Singapore in terms of getting leads and the highest amount of conversions, right? So it's uh, undisputable lah, that Property Guru is going to deliver you the most amount of leads. So today's topic is specifically looking at Property Guru and how you should be running your marketing. Okay, so for sellers, these are some things that you need to take note of. Okay, so I will be looking at these four aspects. Now, in every property listing, um, we have these four categories in Property Guru when we run ads. So I want you to take note of these few terms. One is this one, Featured Agent, right? Then we have Turbo, Boost, and last is Regular. So for this portion here, you look at uh, rank on search results. That means if a property buyer is looking for a specific house, be it a HDB or a condo, and he searches for, let's say, three bedroom, uh, or three bedroom condo in let's say Sengkang then based on his search terms you will come out number one will be if this agent is a featured agent so this one is number one and so top of the it's just like Google search so number one will come out all the featured agent listings secondly you will have the placing of those that Turbo. Thirdly, will be those that have boosted. And last but not least, you will have regular. That means if you see this portion here, this is feature agent. Number two is turbo. Number three is boost. And number four is regular. Now, um, there is a limitation for slots on featured agents. So this one, you see it's uh, seven slots over here, right? Then this one has turbo has no limit and boost has no limit and this regular is so insignificant that they don't even want to put anything there, right? So for listing card size, the take note this is only applicable on desktop, um, but the rest of the things I will cover one by one. But as of now, what you need to learn from this slide is you there is feature agent turbo boost and regular so these four categories over here 
now let's go back to the slides we are how much is property guru costing agents nowadays now this is from property guru's uh, latest extract um, sorry property guru if i'm not supposed to show this please forgive me but i'm trying to educate the public that um, you give the best results and <laughs> actually you are also the most expensive because you give the best results now if we look at this over here um, this is actually credit top up so we have other packages but generally if we post a listing we always use credits to post now later i will go deep, deeper into this but as of now know this thing for 2000 credits 2000 ad credits it actually costing us $1,500 in top up so over here you can see this is 75 cents per credit so i want you to remember this magic figure 75 cents per credit now you can actually get cheaper credits but we need to buy a lot more maybe we need to buy 10,000 credits as a package so we probably will get about 50 cents per credit if we buy by bulk but just take note of this figure 75 cents per ad credit so in case you are wondering yes property guru is making Sai, property guru really really hot la. so okay this one jokes aside la. now why some agents turn turbo now the main thing what i'm trying to drive here is it's about cost so for agents marketing cost is everything right so if you take this example over here so some people just now you see hey i got 2000 credits for 1500 dollars 75 cent per credit but actually posting one listing doesn't cost us agent one credit sorry to say this this is one of the latest so we just do you know treasure at tampani is very hot property right now this project just recently only start to top people start to sell so it's one of the hottest properties out there um, look at this property credits eh, sorry yeah uh, turbo credits this one 205 ad credits yeah 205 ad credits meaning what and this also here listing rank you're talking about after page three so what's this saying this is actually telling you that if i don't turbo this is an example that i just did if i don't turbo and based on the hierarchy this listing is currently ranked at page three now if you do a uh, average count on the property guru home uh, page for let's say any condo or any hdb likely you will get around 24 listings per page so after page three uh, means this property listing is currently in that category ranked maybe 75 and above that means more than 75 so if you take the concept of google a lot of people don't really look past page one but of course property you likely going to look at more but let's just say this the more pages that you are behind you actually risk that the client the buyer will not go so deep and find your property right so that is why agents sometimes what is why we turbo because we want the listing to rank higher we want it to go up then it will actually gather more eyeballs so for us to get it up what does it cost us cheap lah 153 dollars 75 cent per day you know seven days so for turbo listing what it means is every seven days i if i want to do something like that it's going to cost me 205 credits and based on 75 cent is 153 dollars 75 cent but just to share with you this figure changes every single day based on their 
property guru algorithm because last week when I was doing this, this thing, guess what? It was 255 credits. So it's actually more expensive, right? So this one, talking about repost credit. So repost credits are uh, meaning after I turbo, this listing will actually go up. So instead of page three, after I turbo, it become rank eight. That means on page one, rank eight, because it's below the featured agent listings. Now, if I want to, let's say for example, each agent that turbo, I'm going to get pushed down, pushed down, pushed down, pushed down, until eventually I am right below also. So maybe I go to page two. Then if I want to push it up again, it's going to cost me 45 ad credits. So based on this calculation, you have $33.75 every day. So if I want to click repost every day just to boost up for that day, it's going to cost me $33.75. Now, so how much does Property Guru cost per ad per month? Now, so just now based on calculation, Turbo is 153 per week. Repost is 236. Now, why I say repost is 236? Because technically, we should at least repost about once every day because we want more visibility. And this costs us $236 per week. And for a grand total of four weeks, this is $1,560 per month. Now, I can tell you last time, the cost is not so high one because long, long time ago, actually not so long ago, la, this credit system uh, didn't exist until, you know, there was no 205 credits. We actually can post for, you know, uh, maybe 10, 20 credits or something like that. It's much cheaper. Now the cost has skyrocketed. So 1,560 per month. I want you to think of some scenarios. Main thing is this. Today, if an agent is charging you a certain percentage in commission, we have to see as a consumer or as a seller, you have to look at some aspects. Number one, did you grant your agent an exclusive or not? So if you have not granted an agent exclusive and some sellers are really like open listing one. So they, I know some sellers, they have five agents, they have 10 agents, and they believe that competition is healthy. Well, look at it this way. If your competition is healthy, very straightforward, do you think the agent is going to spend 1,560 per month with only a 20% chance of closing because there's, five, there's four other agents that's fighting with him, right? So if you look at this aspect, so cost is one thing. Have you given agent the most in terms of you know, ammunition to fight this war for you or not? Does ad position matter? Because I talk about turbo featured agent standard. Now, what does ad position mean? So if you look at this here, Okay, if it's too small, I tell I uh, share with you. Uh, okay, this one 445,146 results. So this is from clicking on the button here. Uh, buy. This one is what? Buy. Buy. Uh. So by clicking on buy, what appears is the first uh, listing that is turbo and also the latest at the time. So if you look at this one over here, it actually says one minute. So this is the, I took this screen capture, is the moment that I turbo this listing and I immediately go and search for condos or property for sale in Singapore and my listing come out on page one, the first listing itself. So what does it mean in terms of ad position? We have to understand buyer mentality. 
not every buyer it's is going to actually look at listings in a specific condo for example if today i don't know the area well i have been shopping for listings around the area i don't know every single condo in that place because uh, unless i stay there for maybe 10 20 years then i know everything around there or i went for a lot of viewings then most likely i'm searching around the area let's say for example i want Singapore Pongo, where, where I'm most familiar. So Singapore Pongo itself, I'm searching for condos around there or District 19. Then my listing, let's say the one that I just turbo, it will come out on the first listing. And if it fits the client's requirement or the buyer's requirements, then the buyer will actually contact me and say, hey, I, got it, I want to view this property. But if your agent did not actually turbo this listing so if we go back you see that this one is an example of the listing i didn't turbo so you can see that this listing itself in order to find this listing that never turbo so this one is not uh, that means it's uh, on the third category so third category itself I am at page 37. That means this property appear on page 37 itself. So it's not even page 3, it's page 37. So the chance of you spotting this property, unless you say that you search through the entire area, then you probably can, can find it. Or if a buyer searches a specific condo that means if he searches like in this case the terrace itself then probably out of the terrace maybe you have 50 units you will probably find it at the bottom few page so if a client is very specific go to zoom down to the area let's say hdb area he will find it or if he go to the condo itself he will find it but if he goes on general singapore pongo you are going to be faced with this situation page 37 likely cannot see at all so you say yourself tell me whether at position matters or not now next category does picture size matter so over here you can see yeah this is feature agent turbo boost and regular now picture size so this is only applicable to desktop huh? now some agents they can get away with not doing turbo because a lot of consumers also use mobile phones to view the listing now if you use mobile phone to look at property guru your picture size you can't really see such a drastic difference so this is applicable to desktop now as a property buyer in the past i myself i only use desktop to serve uh, to look for listings because I like to see big picture. I don't want to waste my time and go and see a small little picture trying to figure out what's in the house. I don't like it, so I use desktop. Now, if you look at the this one, two, three, four, you will see that for feature agent and turbo, the picture is actually the same size, and for boost and regular, it's actually small pictures. Now, difference is I show you already this is what we call big picture so this one is a turbo listing and this is actually boost next level down so if you look at this as a consumer do you think you will have difficulty looking at this listing or not the picture is so small can you tell what's in the house hardly so us agents we spend money to get a bigger picture, you know, more real estate space on the portal page for a purpose one. It's not that we like to waste money. You no know, money is precious, but it's not that we want to spend this money. It's because we want more exposure for the property and more chance that some property buyers see the listing 
they like the picture, they think that this house suits them, they will call us and without viewing. Also, my favorite face is this. No listing. Okay, so okay, you put your listing already. If you've got listing, but you got no viewing, you have no chance of closing. Zero chance. Eh? So no viewing equals to no closing. So, but if you don't post, then you have no buyer. So no buyer, also no viewing, no chance of closing. If we look at the next one, this aspect of it is looking at repost. When did you last repost? So remember the first few slides I was sharing about the fact that when I want to repost, I would like to repost every day if possible to increase the exposure. But it cost me, I think it's 30 something dollars per day. La. I think $33 per day just to repost a turbo ad. Now, how do you as a consumer tell that this listing is reposted? I want to, to look at this portion. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. draw a bit too big. This one. Here, I write for you. Ah, big, big. 12 minutes. This is a clock. They tell you. That means this listing has been reposted 12 minutes ago. Either reposted or just posted 12 minutes ago. So the way the property guru algorithm goes is whoever posts repost the earliest or post the earliest, they will be right on top. So agents is this, as we want to compete against each other, we want more visibility. So if I see somebody post, I will likely want to post on top. So I push them down, I'm on top. Eh? So we are trying to fight for, in a sense, Google page one. If you relate what I'm trying to say. So if I'm on page one, page two, I get the best chance to have visibility. So yeah, this is very, very important. That's why if you know this, you can immediately, let's give you an example. If your property is not sold and you don't know what is happening as a seller, just go to Property Guru and try to find your listing. As a seller, if you yourself are, imagine you are a buyer, you can't even find your property for sale. Let's say you go on a broad base first. You go on the buy page and then you try to find your property. You give them a little bit more info if you cannot find. Let's say, for example, I want to look at the estate. Wow, still cannot find my listing. Then I go a bit deeper. Maybe what about the road name? Or uh, in worst case, uh, you really, really cannot find. Uh, then you have to go direct to the the you know the very specific area you have to go to the exact condo likely you will be able to find your listing now second stage you want to do is go and look at that listing itself how big is your picture if you see your picture uh, on desktop uh, tiny tiny one uh, that means uh, this one no turbo uh. so no turbo and then you have so much difficulty finding wow problem right then next step you go into what i just shared you look at this one over here, which is when did he last repost? So repost, if you sometimes you will see 12 minutes, wow, my agent Uto Kang, this agent good, can keep. If you look at things like, okay, six days, wow, cannot find and yet six days then repost, something wrong. Very, very likely, most of the time when I analyze clients who have difficulty selling, I look at their property guru and together with them, I ask them, can you show me your listing or not? Most of the time, they cannot even find their listing. Or when they find, they find that their listing is so behind and they say, oh, that's why this agent actually got no viewing. Oh. No viewing because I myself can't even find the listing. So very, cannot find the listing, no chance. All right, so this is one aspect. Repost. Let's go to the next one. Would you click on this listing over here? Now, this one, uh, I don't know. I think, honest to truth, maybe RES exam, you know, CEA, they should implement. Can you teach agents how to take better pictures or not? I think this is a soft skill that all marketing agents 
we should learn. Uh, let's be honest. Have you ever gone to a show flat, new lot show flat, and you look at the ID? Wow, this property, uh, this show flat, uh, they actually, instead of a nicely tailored suit down here or a nice dress they hang here, they hang like that, uh, like, okay, uh, well, your clothes that go to market one. Uh, uh, the bed sheet itself, wow, different color. Then you have clothes folded over here. Then you have one nice little standing fan that is blocking the way. So, honestly, you look at this picture. This is what we call cover picture. So the proper term is this one is a cover picture. So cover picture is the main picture in the ad that we say this one is what I want to tell people. This house, this is the best picture of the house. Now, imagine this. This is the best picture of the house. You as a seller, you don't tell me this picture uh, depicts your entire house. You're telling people that, wow, my house is like that one. No? Messy. La. The shirt is there. No? <laughs> and my bedroom is the best feature of the entire house. Like that, how to sell this property? Come on, la, at least pack up the room. La. So uh, uh, things that we do when we market, before we take picture, I don't care if the house is not renovated, but minimally, you will have to clear a cutter. Okay, you can use the comforter, you're going to cover the bed, make it at least look neat and tidy. The fan can move out for one minute and after that, take picture already move back. Doesn't matter that when viewing your house, it still look like this, but ultimately, if the picture is lousy, the consumer buyer doesn't have a good impression, why would they even come for viewing? So effectively, sorry if you are this agent, you killed this listing. Or even if you sold this listing, probably you could have gotten a better price if you put a little bit more effort. Now, next part. What about this one? Any problem? Or not? Again, this one is cover picture. Tolong lah, tolong, tolong, tolong. Cover picture, you're telling me that this one, uh, you're talking about this house is looking at the rooftop of a multi-story car park. This is the best feature of the house. Uh. If this is the best feature of the house, uh, you're in trouble. I know this house is difficult to sell, but I'm sure the, probably the living room should look better than this one. Right? Unless today, you see, I have listings that I will show the exterior as the cover picture. Only because this is a super nice pool view unit. I will show the swimming pool because I want to know that this development, this unit over here for sale, facing the pool and it's super nice. And it's definitely nicer than the living room. Then I will use a pool view picture. But pool view picture is nice. Why, Why would the top of the car park? You're telling people, uh, wow, this one top of car park, I don't kind of view. Lah. Doesn't matter the house reno is how nice. Uh. I see this one, skip, pass, don't want to view. Wow, this one's so ugly. La. La po, la kong, la. This one's so ugly. La. Oh, please. La. Yeah, I'm sure there are better pictures. Right? You get my drift. Huh? This one, does picture orientation matter? So this one, ayo. let's just say this. Uh. Even in mobile you, when you view, also will have this thing one. You look over here, white space. Today, this picture, uh, I tell you, is already a picture that is not, this listing is not turbo already. It's not a bigger picture. Your picture is so tiny, you imagine, and this agent still take portrait mode. Now, portrait mode picture will always have this white space that come out. So, a little tiny picture like this already, you still want to shrink into this size. Ah. Already cannot see, you want to make it even smaller. So, it's a simple general knowledge to me that, you know, if you look at your listing like that, and I can tell you, 
I've seen listing of the okay la. I don't say number what la. top 10 agent in Singapore make millions one they are listing like this one so not every agent can be bothered but the thing is this when I go and do the listing photography yes I bring a professional camera I don't use my mobile phone because sometimes I do agree that the newer mobile phones are better in quality but there is still limitations we want to show the house in sometimes what you say okay so the handphone can if you don't have the right equipment yes the handphone can take a nice wide angle but as if you are serious about this career then probably i would suggest that you invest in better equipment because if you want to charge people two percent and you want to make the client you know have the best result in terms of the selling price and the most number of viewers then you got to improve the quality of your pictures right your boosting make a picture bigger picture but ugly picture and then you you blow it out of course no use ah. but in this case picture orientation does matter so my take is this this one i no need to compromise if you see your agent take photos of your house and the phone is in portrait mode i think you really think twice about whether this agent is for you oh you go and observe yourself this one i don't want to talk too much okay should you show a floor plan now this is what i want to show you example this is here no floor plan so this this area here blank uh. this is floor plan okay this one is with floor plan now why you should flow, show a floor plan the thing is this if you have ever sold a property in your life you know this selling a house is very stressful one as a seller that time when i'm also selling my house every time somebody want to view i have to pack my house i have to you know i have a dog so i need to bring my kids need to bring my dog downstairs for maybe one hour just so that my dog my crazy dog doesn't which doesn't stop barking at anybody he will just bark for the entire half an hour that the person is viewing so my dog cannot be in the house one so in this case uh, every single buyer i have to pack up neatly and then bring my dog out so it's very troublesome now if your agent uh, don't want to show the floor plan to uh, on property guru what does it how does it harm you the main thing is this the agent will say oh i want the customer to contact me just to get the floor plan but in this case uh, like for me when i'm buying i'm the type of buyer that if i see a listing that doesn't have a floor plan no need to talk i don't want to see it already because i don't know what is you know every layout is different then how would i know that this property suit me you know so the last purchase i made i immediately omitted every single listing that have no floor plan and i met many buyers who do the same thing no floor plan no need to talk don't even want to view so no viewing no chance of closing are you hurting your client by not putting a simple thing like a floor plan hdb some people say yeah i got some sellers say i got no floor plan io agent just gonna spend a few dollars and buy la. condo very easy to find unless it's a super old one but floor plan is essential i even for landed house uh, the house is 30 over years old i still go to bca just to buy the floor plan no choice because it must be shown to people they must have to know what they are buying so this kind of thing cannot save one okay last thing description this one uh, i see also hard pain today i'm selling a house you look at how this agent want to describe to consumers why they should come to view your property you imagine this 
the description says in this case move in condition for room flat needs to waterway point unique selling point renovated okay so renovated one star needs to waterway point wow squarish layout boleh this house is the special part of this house ah. if you say renovated you can emphasize a bit more ma. you can say you know uh wow um, owner spend eighty thousand on designer reno let's say for example some people's house or oh, one uh i mean listed in a, a top magazine for interior design or you can say uh this one super spacious easily can fit queen size bed in every room you know you can share a lot of aspects in the description you can say this one is facing what direction so you know nowadays a lot of uh, buyers actually want to look at what facing um, whether this one is uh, like in this case four room flat whether it's a corridor unit or uh, you know you have other things like you know is it corner unit so what are the different aspects of that property because this description will also determine whether or not I think that this house is suitable for me or not right so if a bar agent actually thinks that you know I want to filter as much as possible so that only sincere buyers come to this property and view and minimize the inconvenience to my seller but every person that comes even the agent that brings the buyer they actually know what they are expecting what can they expect from this property this property most likely maybe 70 80 percent already suit me i just need to see what are the facing what are the neighbors like and then maybe negotiate with the price if it's suitable then this property you should be able to um, gather the most sincere amount of buyers and potentially you can close this sale now main thing i want to i mean that's more or less i just going to cover property guru there are many different aspects of marketing a house okay but i'm not looking at the other things yet you imagine this if just from a pro simple property guru listing uh, you can already tell whether or not this agent is putting in effort trying to do the best for you you know whether it's the photography or not you can immediately tell whether or not this person will be able to convert for you because the number of buyers that they bring number of viewers that they bring is so obvious because you now know how to go to property guru see this agent have they been reposting have they if you can't even find an ad then very straightforward that is why you got no viewing that is why no offer that is why no closing and in this case i have helped many people look through together and we discover this is the actual problem then they start to understand that oh that's why my house cannot sell right so i hope that this video has been helpful for you so in the upcoming video what am i going to do i'm actually going to deep dive into the course so just now i just show you a basic course for property guru so in the next upcoming video probably about next few days i will actually be able to show you what is the cost marketing cost that agents are putting in and should you look at this agent just because they are giving you a cheaper commission what is the implication if they charge a higher commission then what are the benefits that they give you or you know there are cases where some companies are zero percent commission so i will be looking at that with that being said thank you so much if you like my content do give me a like subscribe leave a comment and let me know what other videos you would like to hear about or me to cover and with that, I see you in the next video very soon. Bye.